you don't smell too good. There he is. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about the idea of when or if the creeper should ever talk in the Jeepers Creepers film. Now, as we know, there's been many instances in the past where Victor Salva had intent or had plans for the creeper to speak actually act actual words. Uh, we were going to get that all the way back in the original movie. It was going to be no type of surprise whatsoever. Well, actually, it would have been a surprise. Uh, right is when we were finding out that the Creeper, as you saw in this opening clip uh, at the beginning of the video. Uh, right as we were going to find out what this thing was, because for the longest time, we were under the impression that this was a man. But as the movie progressed, we saw, okay, something's not right here. This can't just be a man. And then when he stepped out of the shadows behind from behind that old woman, we saw that he wasn't actually a he at all it was a looked like a demon some type of demonic creature that we still have no idea what it is uh but in that original scene he he whispered not whispered but he made it very abundantly clear that he could speak the english language he looked straight at this straight at trisha and Derry, and as he is revealing himself from behind the old woman the old cat lady he says straight to them she doesn't smell too good dairies and that got cut out there's a deleted scene of it on youtube again i put it at the very beginning of the video i for the longest time thought it was fake i thought that clip was fake just because i'm the fact that i thought it was fake is probably a good idea that they left it out because it just came across as very cartoonish the voice of the creeper didn't the voice i think is really honestly coming down to the fact that I saw this scene and a lot of us saw this deleted scene years after we've already had that scene embedded in our mind and had it embedded in us that this thing does not talk. It's never spoken a single word. And then for us to have this deleted scene like that, it comes across, it, it seems off. It's like his voice doesn't match how he looks or how it looks. The voice to me, I don't know if that was Jonathan Breck or what, but if you're gonna have that thing talk, I think you gotta get a better voice something something had to be done there because i i'm glad they got rid of that because it didn't sound terrifying at all maybe if it was a person but again i don't think the voice matched whatsoever uh so i'm glad they got rid of that and then another instance where we were going to have the creeper talk was i made a I made a recent video talking about this in jeepers creepers 2 the original coach death uh coach hand i believe that was the black coach um we were going to find out that the creeper was a vent kind of like almost a master of ventriloquism he was going to be holding up coach hannah and kind of like mimicking his voice to lure the kids out into the field only for them to only for them to discover that the creeper was holding him up from his backside and kind of using him as a ventriloquist dummy and we were going to find out that the creeper knows how to mimic voices and of course at that point yes you can talk because if you're causing someone to do that you can talk you're just not you're choosing not to talk do i think the creeper can talk no i don't think he can talk whatsoever uh, I and when I say I don't think he can talk whatsoever, I'm, I'm saying my preference. Preferably, I would rather him not talk. I would rather this thing not talk at all. Uh, when or if this thing would talk, what would be the best time for that to occur? Then let's envision the end of Jeepers Creepers 4. Let's set the stage. Final battle, Trisha, the Creeper, or whoever. Whoever is left standing with this Creeper in a final standoff after we've had a hell of an action-packed film, lots of death, lots of blood, lots of things been unveiled about the Creeper. A uh, big battle has occurred, and then there's the Creeper and a few other humans remaining, and the Creeper is on like his last leg. And as the Creeper is about to be defeated, that's when I could see this thing letting out some type of language, something regarding dialect, something regarding a voice, something regarding, hey, I can talk. Now, cheesy at best, honestly, that's the only time if you're going to go that route to have this thing talk, I would save it for when it is on the verge of death. If it knows that death is near and it's 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 right around the corner have it talk then have it talk just as it's about to die uh i don't think having this thing talk and then progressing the movie forward and him not talking again is the way to go because then it's gonna be like well why did you say this and then not say anything ever again it's just it just comes across as odd to me and just how the how it's been portrayed throughout the franchise already i feel like that should just be one final detail you reveal at the end as it's about to die okay now we know you can talk 
because look at it like this in jeepers creepers if that deleted scene it stayed and that's the film we got we would now have a franchise where the creeper we know he can talk but he he hasn't spoken since because he would not have spoken since he would not have spoken in the second movie because we would not have gotten that coach hannah scene and he hadn't spoken in the third one so it then becomes well why did you speak in the first movie why was that scene included but then we're not going to have that in these other movies so that's why i'm like at this point don't have him talk and then not have him talk anymore if you're going to have him talk he needs to talk as he's on the verge of dying that like that, that needs to be something we find out and then he's just boom bada bing he's done and we don't find out anything else about him because we don't need to hear him talk ever honestly but if you're going to have him talk have him talk like as he is about to go out don't have him talk and then we're in a situation where he he doesn't even talk again we're just gonna ignore that that ever happened no i don't want to see anything like that but again personally i don't think the creeper should ever talk i thought that scene that got deleted from the first movie was absolutely uh comical at best because again when i first saw it i laughed i laughed because i thought it was so cartoonish i thought it was very like and then the way they ran afterwards was no longer threatening to me it's like okay it kind of just took away from that that moment honestly the moment was so iconic as a kid for me this scary looking thing and then this voice it's very human it's very like unfrightening to me it's just like and then they run away from it it's just i i couldn't help but laugh it's just like i'm glad they got rid of that because if you're gonna have him talk get a better voice i don't know if that was jonathan breck i'm assuming it was since he was the one in the creeper makeup i'm assuming that was jonathan breck i don't know if it was or if it wasn't because i've heard jonathan breck speak in interviews that didn't sound like him to me of course he was trying to do a different voice but if that's his voice that he wants to give off for the creeper i thought it was awful uh i didn't think it brought anything scary to the to the scene i think it actually killed a lot of tension that was there uh because again i started laughing not when he talked but the second they started running after he talked i just thought it just made the scene comical to me and honestly us having that over the coach hannah scene if i had to pick one i'd go with the coach hannah scene because if we're gonna have him talk i'd rather him be mimicking someone's voice than hearing how he talks if that's how he sounds i'd rather him mimic someone's voice and we found out he can talk like that he doesn't have a voice of his own but then again that doesn't really make too much sense if you're mimicking voice you have to have a voice of your own you're just choosing not to not to use that voice but uh i would rather have that coach hannah scene if we would have picking the scenes of him talking i would rather taking that puppetry scene in jeepers creepers 2 the mimicking scene over us hearing what we got in that deleted scene from jeepers creepers 1 that's just my opinion personally i don't think the creeper as a whole should ever really speak again as i made mention of if it were to speak i would have this dialogue this brief moment of dialogue only happen as this character is on its last leg as is as it is realizing that it is on that it is on death's front door death is knocking and you are about to go out and this is your battle cry like he needs to have a battle cry i don't want him to talk and then just keep going because like, i feel like if you're going to show him if he's going to be in his most vulnerable state let us find out one last thing about him and that would be he could talk this whole time he just chose not to uh but that was just also heightened the desperation in this moment because nobody wants to die especially even if you are like a nobody no thing wants to die especially the creeper because if he dies you know he doesn't get to eat us he doesn't get to come out every 23rd spring for 23 days and honestly and just sitting here thinking about it I, it'd, be, it'd be nice to know what would be so bad about dying to this guy you don't come out at all until 23 years later anyway so what what would be so bad about going to sleep forever uh <laughs> that's just my sidebar commentary on that uh i don't think we'll ever get to actually see him talk i don't think we should get to see him talk again if we did get to see one of those scenes i would have gone with that coach hannah scene uh i thought that scene that got deleted was again just comical but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below do you think the creeper should ever speak in a future film or anything at all if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video